So, I lost my mind over 4th of July weekend, and I decided it would be a great idea to paint this extremely complex and elaborate ass photo that I saw on the internet, on Instagram, of course. And I was like, hey, you know what? I haven't painted in a while. Might as well do it. Let's go for it. And so that's what we have here. Um, I actually ended up painting this twice. The first time I painted it on a smaller like gesso board and it looked terrible. <laughs> and then, but I usually do that. I always start a project and I'm like, oh, okay, I can do this. And then I realize, nope, it's not. Either something goes wrong or I, I use the wrong under layer or something and I have to start over. So that's what happened with this one, of course. Um, so basically, I started that one on a smaller gesso board and the background, I just had white and I was just painting. And that did not work out for some reason. So I restarted it. I made my gesso board bigger because I think I was painting on a 11 by 14. And then I went up to a 16 by 20, which is the size that this is. And I was like, okay, you know what? Start all over and actually let's do a wash on this painting so I can actually understand what I'm seeing. Because I always mess up when I just start painting and I don't actually tone the surface that I'm working with. So I think that's what went wrong the first time. And it's, it's fine. I love to make mistakes like that. And I actually keep those paintings because they actually mean a lot to me too because it shows me where I started and where I'm trying to go. So I kept that. I did a, I guess it's more like a, I don't know what kind. It's like an orangey kind of wash over it. And you can see the colors that I mixed in the beginning, but it's some cheap acrylic paint, I think. And I just washed over it. And I think that made all the difference because I was able to see exactly what I wanted to paint. And I've done this before. I don't know why I, it's weird. Like I don't have like a set of like routine stuff that I do when I make paintings, but I find myself going back to doing a wash over stuff when I'm trying to make realism because that's very helpful um, to help my eyes focus on what I want to actually paint. I also did something really different with this one too because the underpainting or like the skeleton as I call it of the painting, I did a black and white kind of like grisaille kind of effect and I really like that a lot. I just used literally black and white and I just did like a tonal study I guess a tonal layer is literally just black and white and I think that really helped me a lot and then I just ended up going in with my regular colors and I think I was able to paint it in like a few hours I didn't even have to wait because I don't know was there something about the texture of this gesso board that I was using that made the oil paint really really just absorb into the surface of whatever texture this is so there was it wasn't very oily it just was like drying in like two seconds I don't know if it was because it was hot I don't know but it was it was interesting it was a very different effect with this surface um it's just wood and it's sprayed with a gesso spray layer and it was I had to sand it down because it was very toothy it was very textured and it still is but yeah I did have to sand it down and then I just started painting on top of it um, it was very gritty and very textured, so even me putting my paint in my brushes, I was just kind of dragging the paint on the canvas. So that was pretty stressful. But, you know, it actually ended up working out. Um, it, it made me paint a little bit slower, but I was just being very meticulous, as I always am, so that kind of helped. Um, and as you see, the gold jewelry on her, <laughs> on her outfit, her outfit is very complex. She's got this gold necklace and she's got the jewelry on her on her dress or whatever gown that is and she's got it on her crown and I was going crazy because that was the most hardest thing I ever had to paint I ended up buying gold like chrome pens because I was like I can't paint gold are you kidding me I watched like two videos on YouTube and I was like I can't paint gold but then I got the gold pens and I put it on the first uh painting that I did and I was like this looks terrible I can't I can't do this. I could probably paint this better than I can use the gold pens. So I ended up painting it and it actually turned out pretty okay. What happened was I ended up using, I just had to break it down, you know? So when you're trying to paint gold, there is a lot of green. There's a lot of, a little bit of yellow in there. 
and then a lot of gray and then you have like your main highlight color so I just had to figure out what was the majority of the under layer color that I was seeing and then I ended up going in with like a lot little small little itty bitty dots of white paint and that actually helped a lot I was like you know what I'm figuring this out and that actually really I was surprised I could not believe that it turned out so good I was super happy and I like to paint complex things like that I like to challenge myself to like different things because you know it helps you you know figure out how you're going to paint something and how you're going to overcome something that's challenging for you that you haven't really done before so that was pretty cool um and I really liked it so and then you guys can sit back and watch this little lovely glazing process it was really therapeutic and very very nice and like ASMR worthy so yes um I definitely loved glazing this because it made the colors just pop. I don't know, something about me painting on this canvas just made all my colors go flat. So when I put the glaze back on it, it just really made it pop. It was like unbelievable. Or the varnish on it. So it was just, it was awesome. I loved to see the colors just pop out at the end and it was very, very nice to see just the final result and I really liked it. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or you want like a full breakdown of this, I, I just try to do a speed painting because I don't want to lose you guys and like this is boring or something. I don't know. But I just want to show you guys um, if you want to see like a full breakdown and like slower, just let me know. I can upload a longer kind of tutorial kind of video for it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Have a good one.